Well, look, I know when it comes to Liz Truss, it's very much a we'll believe it when we see it sentiment here uh, on my channel. But I've talked about uh, before about the potential uh, cabinet, the Brexiteer lineup that Liz Truss was rumoured uh, to support and was going to appoint. And some pretty sensational appointments this evening already that I'm going to be talking about in my uh, newsletter tomorrow as well. So do go to heva.news to join uh, the mailing list and you'll get my newsletter tomorrow. I'll put a link down below. But it's now been confirmed already. And of course, the cabinet, the announcements still coming thick and fast. But first of all, you know, three Brexiteers uh, being appointed to key roles in the government. You've got Quasi Quarting confirmed as the new Chancellor. Then you've got James Cleverley confirmed as the new Foreign Secretary. And then the big one. This really is, I think, very, very significant because we know that Priti Patel uh, resigned as Home Secretary. We've got the absolute disgrace of the record uh, crossings we've seen from France. Illegal migration completely out of control. And Suella Braverman, who of course stood in the leadership race and her big headline policy was that the UK should leave the ECHR. Well, Suella Braveman, having advocated that, has been made Home Secretary by Liz Truss. I think this is highly, highly significant. Surely now you can't have a Home Secretary in Suella Braveman who advocates staying signed up to ECHR when she had this to say just the other day. Both my experience as a barrister specialising in immigration law, defending the Home Office before I was an MP, and as the Attorney General, have led me to the conclusion that if we are serious about completing the Brexit promises, if we are serious about taking back control of our borders, then there is no alternative but for the UK to leave the European Convention on Human Rights and permanently exclude the jurisdiction of the European Court of Human Rights.